I call the Dixon County Commission to order the February the 18th, 2016 meeting. Please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Uh, we do have a couple additions that we're going to add to the agenda today. The first one is to approve Lynn uh, to come in on the, the uh, 24th to approve the payroll. And this, the other one is uh, to review the county commission uh, district boundaries and approve the uh, for three, three years on uh, ex keeping that the same. I'd move that we approve the agenda with the two additions you mentioned. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Consent agenda are the Fev minutes of the February 11th work session and regular meeting. Fund expenditures of $215,957.35. Abatements of $3,495.35. Added tax of one thousand forty-one dollars and eighty-two cents. Utilities nine thousand two hundred four dollars and thirty-two cents. I move that we approve the consent agenda. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Commissioners' comments and committee reports. Uh, Lynn, do you want to start? This past Monday, I attended the Central Kansas Mental Health Board meeting, and we had that in Salina. And of course, we're uh, in with that group with surrounding counties. Um, and then also the other evening, um, I know I wasn't the only one there in attendance, uh, but but I attended the Abilene Chamber, and um, it, it was a I think a well attended annual meeting and. Uh, we had previously attended the one down at Harrington, and so, you know, we're certainly trying to, um, you might say, do our part of um, participating uh, as a chamber member um, for the Abilene area and Dixon County. That's all I have. Okay. Craig? I have nothing. Okay. Uh, I also attended the chamber meeting. Like I say, it was a very good turnout. And uh, yesterday I had my uh, juvenile detention meeting over at Junction City, and we're going through some issues over there that, uh, like I say, it uh, seems like it, we think we get the issue solved, and then DCF tells us that we're not doing it right, so we're, we're back at the drawing board again on that one. Uh, during our work session, uh, we did have uh, John and Martin come in and kind of go over the uh, the five-year or update us on on road conditions and uh, the evaluations that they have done on the roads, so that we uh, kind of have a plan in place uh, which ones need worked on. Uh, so. That was good to get that information. Let's see, we're still a little early to have our two hearings here, but maybe Brad, you could yeah, I fill could in through for mine a little bit here. Uh, we're set up for the 29th, Monday the 29th, to go up to Seward County, Nebraska. And I thought if we left here about 7, they'd put us up there about 10, 10.30. Give us enough time to spend some time with uh, uh, their commissioner and sheriff and their general administrator and talk about uh, their project, maybe tour the project if you would like, and put us back here mid to late afternoon. So if that sounds okay to everybody, we'll all just meet here at 7. And, and uh, Gareth and, and James are both available that day as well, so we should all be able to take it off. Uh, Russ just wanted me to inform you that uh, he's kind of happy he's got uh, the, the state is putting on a full-scale disaster exercise 
uh, coming up here in April, and he's gonna, they're going to include dispatchers in it for a change. They've never done that before. And he was able to get three slots in it to send three of our dispatchers over to that training. It's going to be held at Crisis City in Salina. So uh, that should be very good training for them at a very minimal uh, cost. So I kind of reported to you in the, in the work session, but uh, Janelle and I uh, attended the city's work session uh, Tuesday, I guess it was. And uh, they had on their agenda the uh, pilot funding for the Economic Development Corporation. And after discussion, they did uh, support that and agreed to uh, put on their, their agenda for Monday to uh, approve $25,000 to go into that project like you guys did last week. So that was a good thing. I think they're, they're on that team with us and they're going to be very supportive. Uh, and I, re I briefed you on the issue at the Navarre uh, Community Center. I won't go into that detail again. I do have the uh, meeting here tonight with the uh, Newburn Township residents in the 12 sections regarding their fire protection and uh, should not be an issue. We'll get through that. I've received a couple calls from people out there. Everybody's supportive of the Grant Township op option. So I think it'll be probably a very brief meeting. We do need 52 signatures, I believe, for 53. Uh, it would be 51%. So hopefully we get at least that many people show up to the meeting. So you know what time that meeting is? Seven o'clock in the basement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then next week, of course, is our leadership class in Wichita. And I figured if we left here at seven, that'd give us enough time if we need to stop once or get down there and get registered for that. It starts at nine o'clock. So are are they going to have a area they want us to park in or do we just park in the garage Honestly, to the south? I have, I have no idea. Probably in the garage. I haven't been in that building before so I'm not sure. That's another reason for giving myself a little extra time to figure that out. So. There's a couple of one-way streets so it's it's not that complicated getting in there but it's not Yeah, I could low extra time. I figure that helps. out to pay the tow bill so that's well, all. Um, yeah, I'll Catch a ride with you. Okay. Come in here and catch a ride from here. Okay. Be all right. And then you said you'd probably drive yourself. I think I'll drive myself because I have a, a board meeting for Kansas Association of Counties okay. to go to after that that evening. And I'll be driving morning. myself. Okay. That's all I've got today. Well, that was quick. I told you I was going to make it fast. So <laughs> everything else is on the rest of the agenda. So. Should we wait the two minutes for the public hearing? We got two hearings uh, today. Uh, the first one we're going to have a public hearing uh, to consider the vacating the portion of Shady Lane in Grant Township, Section 17. Uh, I guess we will. Do you know of anybody else? that's coming to talk on this issue. No, my neighbors seem like they're fine with it, so uh, I don't believe they were going to... You hope not, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> if they come, it might not be very good. Well, we got some people congregating out there. I don't know if they're for this one or for the next one, but... Uh, I like their PVC. They may not know. Yeah. They can come on in. If we... We have the map up here. Uh, I'll go ahead and could you, you might go ahead. Gentlemen, and like to go ahead and sign up here before you get seated. We just sure. like to have people sign in. It is now it is now eleven ten. So I'll call the public hearing uh, for the vacating a portion of Shady Lane in Grant Township. Section 17, and we got it up here on the screen. The area that that uh, you're you want to get up and just speak a little bit about uh, the deal there. Sure. Um, basically, that little portion of road is uh, there's no gravel or anything there running through it. It's just uh, uh, grass that um, I currently keep mowed and. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> my only, um, the reason I wanted to vacate it was to 
uh, put those two properties together. So um, yeah, those two properties right there. And uh, basically just get one tax statement so I don't have to, every December I spend amount, a certain amount of time researching whether or not I actually pay the property, the full property tax on the empty acre and, and uh, just wanted to make it a little bit easier for myself. That way I only have the one tax that I have to worry about at that point. Is there any fences or anything along there now? Or? Um, the fence that Dr. Dr. Law owns the large portion and uh, mm -hmm. he has a fence that runs along that south portion there right. um, and so it's blocked off on that end and uh, other than that there's no other fences around it. So. Now you do understand you'll be paying property tax on this one acre or whatever. Yeah. 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 I, I know it'll be, um, the two acres will be, yeah. I'll be taxed on both acres still. It's not, yeah. I'm not trying to get out of any But you have control of it that way, and I mean, yeah. there's advantages to it. So, mm -hmm. Brad, now I guess neighbors are notified on something yeah, like this. Yeah, we're notified neighbors, and there's no neighbors here, so I guess that means they're not objectionable. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and, I we, did. We, and we staff saw no reason to object to it either. There's, I don't know that there's any utilities there, although the easements would be retained, but uh, there's really no need for access, public access down through there, so. Yeah. Well, if there's, if there's no other comments on this, uh, I'll close the hearing and go back into general session. Uh, we could take care of that right now with a motion. Well, I'll go yeah. ahead and offer the resolution. Yes, yeah, but yeah, sorry. Okay. You have to read the resolution. I'll go ahead and <laughs> uh, move that we adopt resolution 021816, and this is just vacating the public right of way there on Shady Lane, and it has the description there under that resolution. Yeah. Second. It's been moved and seconded uh, to pass resolution 021816. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. See how easy that was? This way at all. There'll be time to mow another month. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. When we get cleaned up. Exactly. Yeah. We've got just a second. I could introduce you to board members if yes. you like. Of course, we have James Hester, who's the veteran. And yes. We know James. Kyle McCook, uh, who works for the Solomon State Bank, is uh, one of the two members that you appointed last week. And Kimberly Phillips, who mm -hmm. is the owner of Last Chance Graphics, is mm -hmm. the other new member. So. And you go by Kimmy. Kimmy, yeah. I was being official. Well, I was being official. <laughs> <laughs> so we appreciate you guys agreeing to serve here. Yeah. Um, and Kimmy, you actually live south of town. <coughs> and then Kyle's over at Solomon, so kind of spread out a little bit. Yeah. Well, that hearing is scheduled for 11.15, so I guess we will wait and see if anybody else shows up for the hearing. But, uh, or the meeting. Very meeting. I wouldn't anticipate it. It's pretty exciting, so. <laughs> Appreciate you volunteering with Brad Askers. Yeah. There you go. I'll call the uh, Public Building Commission meeting to order. And uh, we have a, another. Agenda? Yeah, here's my agenda. Okay. okay. The approval of the 2015 meeting, the minutes, uh, meeting minutes are attached. Uh, this will be for you to sign when we finish that. All right. I'll go ahead and read the, the uh, 
minutes from last uh, March the 5th, 2015. Com Commissioner Peterson called the Public Building Commission meeting to order at 11.17 a.m. on Thursday, March the 5th, 2015. Those present for the meeting included Commissioner Lynn Peterson, Commissioner Craig Chamberlain, Commissioner Laverne Myers, County Clerk Barb Jones, County Administrator Brad Holman, County Council Doug Thompson, Ralph Hilton, Gabriel Simmons, and three students from Abilene High School, uh, Sam Mascarino, Graham Flora, and Delian Grace. No one joined uh, us by phone. The motion was made by Commissioner Peterson and seconded by Commissioner Chamberlain that, the, that each year the current Commission Chairman would serve as President of the Public Building Commission and the Vice Chair would serve as Secretary. Motion carried unanimously. At this point, Commissioner Chamberlain took over the meeting. There were no communications and payments are all up to date. There was no unfinished business. The motion was made by Ralph Hilton and seconded by Gabriel Simmons to approve the minutes from the February 13, 2014 meeting. Motion carried unanimously. Brad Holman gave a brief on the meeting attended by Commissioner Chamberlain, Brad, uh, Sheriff Gareth Hoffman, and Under Sheriff James Swisher in Colorado last week. The, they attended a series of classes on how to get started planning a justice center. Commissioner Meyer spoke about ongoing legislation that may affect how the PVC may be used. The motion was made by Commissioner Peterson and seconded by Commissioner Chamberlain to adjourn at 1127. Motion carried unanimously. Do I hear a motion to approve the minutes? So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I guess we've already had the introduction of our new members, and, and like I say, we do thank you for, for serving on this. Our next item is election of officers. I have to sign those minutes. I need to sign too. You need to sign. Yeah. You need to sign. Yeah. Yes. The one you the Whatever one you got. Yeah. With the action you took last year, we're going to need to elect officers because you've made that on right. <clears throat> okay. Brad, do you want to kind of update us on where we're standing now with I can't, what's going yeah. on? Uh, under communication, we had none at this time, but, but I will communicate that the PBC actually owes $780,000. If you guys have any money, we'll pay that off early. <laughs> Leave it here. Uh, for the EMS facility, that was roughly a $1 million project uh, financed with bonds over 20 years. And we're into the sixth year, I believe. Uh, with that said, today the commission will take action when we're finished here to essentially pay off those bonds uh, and pay the PBC uh, debt and then we are going to refinance that with general obligation bonds rather than uh, the PBC bonds. Uh, one of the reasons for that is why well, there's some strategic purposes for it, uh, but the tax lid that the state has in <coughs> cities and counties uh, does not reach out to the PBC. So if it's under the county's debt, it would be exempted from uh, that tax lid, whereas the PBC is not considered a government entity uh, under that. So it's kind of a strategic move financially for us to be able to do that. Otherwise, that $70,000 we make each year in payments, we could not exempt out in our budget. So. Uh, so within the next 30 to 60 days, once those GO bonds are, are 
that paperwork's taken care of and those are sold by the PDC and should not have any more debt. So, which it's good, you guys, we can have a little party, you paid off three yeah. quarters of a million dollars, you know, it's a good deal. <laughs> the, the, there is another statistic plan to do this is we can refinance this loan at a lower interest rate than what it is right now. And uh, we've gotten the preliminary figures on that that it could save us about $70,000 over the period of this well, next 14 next, years that we yeah. have payments. So actually we're just refinancing it at a lower interest rate and uh, like I say, the, the figures we got right now, apparently the interest rates is as low as it's ever been and we don't know how long that's going to stay there but we feel like it's the opportune time to maybe do this because like I say it, it we don't expect it to really to go it can't go much lower because it's it's down to three percent or something right now and so we don't really expect it to go any lower but it does we're concerned about the uh, the implications that the state has put on us as far as our budget and what what we can count as uh, exempt or, and what's not exempt. So uh, I don't know. Do you have any questions about that? Because it is a change from what we've had done in the past. If, if the um, the county didn't borrow the money for the building originally, how come the county can now refinance the debt? That's a very good question, and I'll answer that question for you. Uh, a public building commission, the way that works is you guys as a group can uh, issue uh, a notice that you're going to borrow money, and then there's a petition period that someone can come in and file and require that to go to an election. If no petition's filed, then you have the right to borrow the money. And then you turn around and for the last six years you have leased that facility to the county, essentially. Uh, if the county issued GO bonds originally, it would have had to go to a vote. Now that it's been done and, the, and the, the debt is there, we can assume the debt without going to a vote, if that makes sense. So, uh, so is, is six years roughly the magic wait time for that to happen? or No, it could, it could be done any time. Okay. Uh, but it just so happens that with the passing of the tax bid by the legislature last year, that coupled with the fact that you now we can save some money by refinancing it, it's just a perfect time to do it. So, and the seventy thousand dollars we're saving—I mean, it's you know, it's not much, but it gives us that much more budget authority if we need it. Uh, which you know, I, the legislature has given us the opportunity. Well, give us the opportunity to take the you know, if we need to go above the CPI take it to a vote, but the only thing is there is some issues then with the October when they, they've talked about moving the date back when we have to have our budgets, well that's not feasible when we have to be, you know, by the first of the year. But and then the the Justice Center, if that goes we've been putting which you may not may or may not know, we've been putting money away for Two years we have about seven hundred eighty thousand dollars. This is the third year. Yeah, so well, with, with right now we got seven hundred. just over a million. Yeah, because so. we got seven hundred eighty thousand this time. Um, uh, you know how we're going to proceed with that. Uh, we, you know, there's all different ideas. You know, we could go, you know, with the public building commission, uh, take it to a vote. Uh, you know, when we get ready to present it to the public, uh, so we could be involved in. Well, it probably will be. Definitely. Strong possibility yeah. that they may ask the PBC to, yeah. to finance and, the, the new justice on so. And I think it's, you know, one way or the other, you know, I feel that it's my personal feeling that we need to, you know, unless we do it, you know, do a good enough job selling that we do do it that way, that, you know, we call for a vote or, you know, do the public building commission and, you know, give the people 30 days to, because it wouldn't take that many signatures to bring it to a vote. And, you know, if we haven't done our job of selling it to the people, then, you know, we'll have to put it off, kick can down the road, because we do have some real needs, you know, in the, the, in the sheriff's department, the, the courtrooms. Uh, this building, you know, the part of it would be is to remodel it. Uh, you know, with Building 5056, we have 
uh, you can sell here in the wintertime, either single pane windows, the, the energy just, you know, saps out of them. Uh, uh, the elevator uh, on its last leg, so to speak, which, you know, it, it's can't get parts for it. You know, it's served its purpose well, but it just needs to be refreshed, remodeled. And back when they built it, I mean, you know, plug-ins and stuff, I mean, the technology is not there to do what needs to be done in this day and age. A lot of it depends on what the tax light does in the next year right. or two, whether and, there's any changes or not. Yeah, and there is proposal mm -hmm. to change it to the, what is the municipal price index? To, instead of the consumer right. price index, to compare it to the municipal price index, which is essentially our cost instead right. of consumer cost. So, yeah, which would be, be more favorable to us because what consumers buy and what we buy, are, you know, are, are different. There will be more public meetings and information going out just to the general public as far as like the Justice Center. So, because you've probably heard comments off and on and read things in the paper, but I mean, it's still conceptually there's a lot to do yet um, to come up with yeah. what course of action exactly, how we would do it, what timetable. But that, that is something that you would be involved with. It's, at even, a certain point. You can get involved in the uh, planning of it if you want to. Yeah, we, we could, we could uh, if you want to volunteer your names today, we could start making that list of <laughs> public support. Did Brad tell you all this? <laughs> Brad said it would be a short meeting here today. <laughs> <laughs> Sneak out, Bill. Well, this, this, did, it is. this did actually last longer than most of them because Normally, we're not having any changes, and all your responsibility was to make sure that we had paid what we're supposed to pay, and, and that we're not delinquent on our payment. But uh, with all the changes that the state is are putting on us now, we do feel like this is an opportunity that we we really need to take in order to move the debt back over into our budget. Because, uh, like I say, now it's we would be stuck kind of with a, a budget that would be hard to deal with if, if we didn't, so. If there's not any more unfinished business or new business, I move that we adjourn the uh, Public Building Commission meeting. We're here a second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Well, we will see next year what what's going on, I guess. And hold on the year for me. For me. <laughs> <laughs> what, other, what other group can you be a part of? It's just name <laughs> And this meeting was only two minutes longer than last year's. So. <laughs> <laughs> they are sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Hey, nice. Thank you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to yeah. visit with any of us or Brad. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Good to see you, James. Yep, good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. you bet. Barb, do the notes reflect that they adopted the minutes of that, that were read? Um, let's see. Yeah, Chris okay. made the motion in one second to, okay. to approve the minutes. Thanks. Do you need to make a motion to go back into regular meeting or not? Uh, yeah. I, I move that we have now returned back into uh, regular session. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Craig needs to sign this. Well, yeah. There was a single page. There was a single page. Oh, that's all you want? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's, all that's the one that came with us that Brad gave us. That's the okay. one we need to sign. Okay. Yeah. And the others you, you just. You don't need this one then. Yeah, that, no, that's for you. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Doug, did you have anything for us today? No, but thank you for asking. Okay. Notices and communications. Oh, there's, there's the minutes too. 
Uh, this is a, a notice uh, from Fort Raleigh. Uh, did, did you get that, man? Uh, Dagger Brigade, I think, yes. change of command. Yeah. And we had this notice last week also. Uh, BG consultants are celebrating their 40th year in business and, and they're having a, a celebration over at Manhattan. Uh, on March the second, this was a letter from the Department of uh, Health and Environment, and it basically said this is this is letter is our this letter will serve as the permit renewal for the period March the eighth. 2016 through March the 7th, 2017, and that's that's for uh, household hazardous waste. So you might need to file that. Mm -hmm. And uh, letter from the Harrington after problem. We have been given five hundred dollars to them uh, for their after problem uh, activities that they they sponsor over there. So uh, that we just automatically do that. Yeah, you know, and as of now, I'll take care of it. Yeah. Uh, we got the newsletter from OCCK and. Uh, so it tells about their annual awards banquet. Uh, and it looks like the city of Abilene uh, receives an outstanding business award. Uh, I think it's with the recycling center that they okay. do in cooperation with the uh, yeah. uh, city, but they also take recycling from throughout the area here. Yeah. So they, uh, it's nice they recognize them. North County News Magazine. In fact, they got more than one of them if you do. Yeah. Them. I noticed on the front of the county news there's a, a county, and I forget what state it is, that has a helicopter, but they're spraying for mosquitoes or something. Yeah. I might have to get bids on a helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> well, just an idea. Yeah. <laughs> That would be maybe an unmanned, ex expensive well, yeah, craft. Yeah. Yeah. Our, our helicopter's the drone that Chancey's got, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that looks like that's all the communications. There's the first resolution. We will move on now to the resolutions that we have. Uh, first one that we're have is a resolution authorizing insurance of general obligation bonds to refinance lease purchase agreements. And that's what we were indicating with our meeting earlier that we would be uh, I'm going, going that route. So that's with the, uh, the deadness on the uh, EMS building. I'd move that we adopt resolution 021816A, Second. authorizing the issuance of the GO bonds. Okay. Second. Been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Second resolution that we have today is uh, authorizing issues of bonds to refinance uh, lease debts. And that resolution is 021816B, and I would move that we adopt that resolution. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried.
Yep. I probably need to go back. I don't know that we had a motion. We had, uh, every year we need to review the, the uh, county commissioners' districts, their boundary lines. Uh, every three years we are supposed to look at that. And uh, we've had Sherry look at populations and, what, and, and has not seen any changes. Is that correct that we need to? That is correct. So uh, I move that, that we continue with the same district boundary lines for the county commissioners for the next three years. Second. Any discussion on that? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Mm -hmm. Now we have one other unfinished business item. Uh, last week we were... Uh, given the uh, inventory, to review the inventory of, of the uh, property that uh, that we have in Dixon County and we've, we've had time to look over that inventory list. The department heads have pretty much have been able to, uh, we've barcoded most of our things now so that it makes it easier and it it's more exact that they actually can scan the barcode and, and show what we do have and what we don't and and go through the list and make sure that the things that we don't have have been designated where they went and and uh, so we've are you satisfied Glenn uh, with the inventory that we were presented and yes Ray? I was yes so I was. it's helpful that the department heads go through and they just review um, every department, every room, and so on, and um, so it's a good working list to have. Um, I might mention that we, we're real spoiled now because of the barcodes, that it shows the legal description of everything, and before either one of you came on the board, we had the commissioner's job was to go around to every department and, and, and do that ourselves, actually physically look at it. So it, uh, we normally would spend a day and a half or so doing that, so we appreciate that we've got the technology now that, that we can use the barcodes and, and do it that way. So, uh, did you make a motion? I would, that okay. we accept the uh, inventory listing as approved by the commission. Second. So I move and second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. No other. We do have the business. part if you'd want to authorize me to come in and sign payroll because next week right. we'll be attending meetings in Wichita right. on the, in, in lieu of our regular meeting. Yes, I, I move that we approve Lynn to come in on the 24th to approve the payroll because on the 25th we will be attending the, the uh, leadership meeting in Wichita. So, have a Second on that. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Was that everything then? Seemed like we had a lot of. We got it covered. A lot of motions today. Except for that helicopter. Did you mention anything about Leah had been in oh, earlier and just. Yeah, in a work session told anywhere. us a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it seems like Leah gave her report and. Like I say, it's just another issue that they're wanting. If the, uh, the toll road, the Kansas Turnpike Authority is trying to push some more work down on, on the state treasurers by saying if the people hadn't were delinquent on their, their toll road fees that we were not to be issuing uh, uh, License plates, uh, and that's going to be a hard thing to. For one thing, it it will hold up our taxes that we would receive, and it, it sounds to be a very complicated thing that 
in force and why the, so it there's a bill in Congress right now I guess it's it's from the state to, legislature from the state legislature that's trying to uh, get this through so the uh, treasurer's organizations have been opposing it so I, like I say we we uh, I think as a county should support that too that it's uh, going to be a person on, on the uh, treasurer's department to do that. Evidently, whether it's intentional or unintentional, a few people drive through the lane for K-TAG and then do not have a K-TAG and so they pick up a copy. A lot of times I have a picture of the face of the driver as well as the tag um, and when it's difficult to collect that money, they want to push that on to the treasurer so when you come in to get a tag, then that would stop the process there because you owe the Turnpike Authority money, so. Before we adjourn, Brad, Brad or Laverne, uh, yeah. we need to, the regional transit business model information, we need to get that on our agenda decide what we want to do. We ought to do that by March. We'll I think. do that when we return on the yeah. third? I can't remember the amount of money it was. It was less than 7000 I think. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was that much. Well, I mean, that was a total with that city. Yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, that well, was, yeah. do we know for sure which plan they were going with? That was the, when they presented that to us, they had more than different, more than one plan that they were thinking of going. Well, they were giving us options of what plan for, you would one, like to finance. One. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I think yeah, the cheap one was eleven hundred, twelve hundred bucks. Yeah, and, and I, they seemed like they were fine with anything either one that you elected yeah, to do. So because okay. the one plan was every community then would city of Abilene. There was about three different plans. I've got it someplace at home. I've, I've got it on my desk, yeah. and I'll, I'll email yeah. it to you. We'll put it on the agenda for the third of March. So. Okay. That way we can yeah. let them know and they can get it in their budget right. for next year. We can, Janelle can have it prepared in our budget as well. So. I know over the past years, and I've probably expressed this, that, that last time we talked about it, there was, and Laverne I'm sure remembers, there was a lot of up in the air. Mm -hmm. And Sheila was really big with in, in that and in going to those meetings and really a proponent of that. But we sat right in between the Manhattan and the Salina centers, yeah. and they really didn't have their plan in place to cooperate and communicate with each other. It sounds like they've taken care of all those loopholes now. So yeah, it sounds more feasible now yeah. than before. Yeah. So I think it'll be a good thing. The, the scheduling of the buses and everything is going to coordinate that. Right. Yeah. So, any other business? Yeah. I move we adjourn. Second. All very First, second. Did you have anything for us? As long as you get, long as you pay me some money, I'll stay. <laughs> did you have yeah. something to present? That's not on the agenda. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just, just say hi. Not happy with your bridge? <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> better call for the motion to adjourn. You know, you call, call the motion. Complain, don't you? <laughs> well, something. No, I think you guys did a good job of it. Okay, it's I call for the motion to adjourn. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried.